Boo! A Medea Halloween tops the movie box office this week. Solange is offered a seat at the table on Saturday Night Live. Ownership changes are coming to Time Warner again. Ty Dolla Sign owes a lot of money to Uncle Sam. Kanye West threatens a Grammy boycott. Welcome to What's the 4 and one your smart source for urban, lifestyle, and entertainment news. I'm Kizzy Cox. I'm Onika McLean. And I'm Jasmine Blake. Yes, so this week's quick takes are all about the money. Now, the domestic weekend movie box office numbers are in, and Tyler Perry's boot of Medea Halloween kicked butt. Perry's film leveled a knockout punch to Tom Cruise's action flick, Jack Reacher, Never Go Back. Um, it took number one, Boo, with an estimated $27.6 million in its first three days versus Jack Reacher's estimated $23 million. In case you're wondering, Boo was actually not the highest grossing opening weekend film for Tyler Perry. Two others did better. 2009's Medea Goes to Jail with $41 million and 2006's Medea's Family Reunion. I remember that. That was a good movie. With $30 million. And rounding out the top five are Newcomer. Ouija, Origin of Evil with 14 million. The Accountant with 14 million. Everyone talked about that. The Accountant. Mm -hmm. No, it's good. I don't know. I don't oh, see it. it. I, you should see Birth of a Nation first. Oh, Lord. And The Girl <laughs> in the Tree with 7.3 million. <laughs> Kevin Hart, What Now dropped to number eight with $4.1 million. Okay, so all about the money, mm -hmm. all about the money. So it's about to be <laughs> some real money going on because <laughs> AT and T is going to acquire Time Warner K, not Time Warner, Time Warner, right? So, so just think about this. So this deal is going to be structured really. I guess mm -hmm. complex, right? Mm -hmm. So they're getting uh, bank loans from all these different places. Bank okay. of America is going to give them uh, forty billion dollars. Wow. Uh, wow. <laughs> uh, uh, J P Morgan Chase is giving twenty five billion dollars, wow. and then some. You know, private investors That's are going to give lot. another forty billion dollars to get this done. But I'm thinking this has to be so they can come for Netflix, right? You yeah. join those two companies because that's the, no one's really watching TV like that. Right. I totally exactly. get it. I totally exactly. get it. Go ahead. Do your thing. I don't think do a thing is bad for us because our prices might go up for stuff. No, but know. but you know what? No, I don't think so because Netflix, all those companies were at the table first. So what's going to happen? They it can't be a situation where you know, the last person to the table is going to, like, um, put all the, well, well uh, the last person to the table is going to, like, jump the prices because you've already been getting Netflix for this seven ninety nine a month uh, or whatever it is. I don't think so. Too much. You can't, so it's just like, think about how, how when we had um, home phones. Everyone had a home phone, and then you just did not need them anymore. And so what they what did they do? They said, "Oh, we'll bundle it together. We'll give you three mm -hmm. pa packages right, in one." Right, right, right. So what what happens is it's the consumer, and it's not like Netflix just got here. They've been doing it for a long time. So why like why pay thirty dollars? Like these mega 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 companies, but they it's have too, to. Too but big. they have to merge at a point because you have to think about it like this: all those employees, they have overhead out the old wazoo so what's going to happen either they merge or die right makes and, and that's my take on it makes sense so according to cmz ty dollar sign has fallen behind on his taxes and has been missing out from 2011 2013 and 2014 mm -hmm. totaling in a hundred eighty thousand dollars worth a hundred and eighty thousand dollars that's Damn. a lot of money it's yeah. all about the money. <laughs> Okay, so Mike <laughs> Bars, Mike Bars, a Chicago area up and coming hip hop artist, posted a message to download his mixtape on Wendy's um, outdoor billboard. Mm -hmm. And Wendy's was like, uh oh, little entrepreneur. <laughs> you get your ass out of here. <laughs> and fired him. Isn't that great? Listen, Wendy, listen, like, really support listen. the entrepreneurship. Nah. Like, oh, really? Lord. They're going to fire the boy. Listen. Mike Bars, we're oh, talking no. about you now, right? So you get in your shine, son. <laughs> right. Uh, okay. Um, rumors are swirling that Sierra and Russell Williams are expecting a baby, y'all. A baby. Folks are coming to the conclusion based on the loose-fitting clothing that Sierra was wearing while in New York City and from the post a singer placed on Instagram. So. Did you see uh, the latest photos of Janet Jackson? Yes. Like, we know she pregnant. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, that's a, that's, that's that's a black girl pregnant. We <laughs> reported on it. I, mean, I hope she does the snapback like Kim Kardashian. Listen, but Janet, you know, Janet Jackson always does it though. She gets big and then she gets small. 
and she gets big and she's yeah. small. That's what she does. But she was she wasn't fifty before. Come on, Janet. We rooting for the baby. <laughs> we rooting for. <laughs> Listen, I want you she to does... snap all the way back. Like just get the surgery. She's do rich, it. exactly. She can do that snap back with the surgery snap. That's what. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when we come back, we're going to be bringing you what's popping. So keep it locked. My new dad teaches me all kinds of stuff. I wouldn't use this one. He helps me with my decision making. Ever. And he's even teaching me how to drive. And that's why cars have bumpers. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of kids in foster care will take you just as you are. Welcome back to What's the 4 and one Now, have you heard about Mary J. Blige and Ken Do Isaacs and their pending divorce? Yes, ma'am. Yep. Yes, all ma right. It's so, Ken Do Isaacs has been asking for $129,000 a month in spousal support mm -hmm. from Mary J. Blige. And so, the whole, <laughs> wow. all of the internet came for his edges, basically. Really? <laughs> yes. Because many women are saying he needs to man up and move on. How? I mean... All right, I'm going to get to this. I'm going to get to this. Because you know okay. if it was a lady. It'd be, come no. on, let's, we're going to talk about this. This is what they said. They said this is the reason why women marry shouldn't marry down and why successful women need to watch their money closely, marry in their tax bracket. What do you ladies think? I already know where you're going with this, Onika. Take it away. They're not in. Where, where are they? The ones that are in, in our tax bracket. <laughs> I mean, I call it the mass exodus. Like, the, I know so many black men that don't date black women. It's so ridiculous, right? Right, so, so there's then, that. So then in our tax brackets, like, where are they? Wait, t tell me. They exist. Where? They exist. But they, are, they, are they checking for you? Are you single? Hell, but I'm not in Mary J. Blige's tax bracket. Right, but you're you you paying taxes, right? <laughs> you're in the bracket. Are you single? Like, what the f Listen, no, I think that it's ridiculous. Okay, yes, he was her manager, but $129,000, he's asking for $5,000 a month um, for his kids, his child support for his but kids. But she did that. $5,000. But she did that. If they were together, but she paid over that. But now, and $5,000 a month, and, oh, remember, and remember too, it, she, he was her manager, mm, so that mm, might have mm. been money that she's given to him as management, managing her. But now it's over. You don't get on a gravy okay, train forever okay. and ever. Five thousand. Okay, let me just let me just let me dollars. say one thing. Can I can I say one, one thing? thing? Five thousand dollars a month to give say, to his parents. You're saying the same thing. No, I said to give to his parents. No, no. Listen, I know, but listen, it's a whole <laughs> list. You're gonna find a list on our website. But just 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 give me one second. Now think about this. Think about mm. this, right? Mm. If it was a woman. And she sued her man for whatever, because what it is is what he's used to. He's been married to that woman for 12 years, and he's grown accustomed to some things. He needs to man up. And what if it was a, to and if, and if he was, managed before Mary? And if he's a manager, <laughs> who did he manage well, before Mary? Well, now he needs to get a job managing somebody else. Who? The point to is do this, what? This thing is, this, the thing is who? This. But that's exactly the point. He doesn't deserve this money. At all. If it was a woman, he should. I would say the same thing. You do not. You're not entitled to getting. Oh well, I'm accustomed to this lifestyle. So give me five thousand dollars to pay for my kids. They, five thousand dollars to pay for my parents. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. They $21, had a prenup. For my they had a prenup, but it wasn't signed in front of a lawyer. So they don't no, know no, no, it, no. They, don't know if it's they were signed the, in front. Of his. She was represented. He didn't have a lawyer on the other side. That's what it was. But. But is that, that not? Is that binding then? It is. He's going to say he wasn't a savvy consumer, mm -hmm. and what's going to happen is they're going to have to neg neg negotiate that, and nine times out of ten, he's going to get the stuff that he has to get. I, because let me tell you, not that Kizzy, just because he's a male. Father. It's not about being a male. It's about fairness. I'm not paying $5,000. We're divorced. I'm paying $5,000 a month in your child support. Where is... The adults because that. okay, forget about being so a man. Being married, an adult, so you I'm have divorced. Your own kids. So I'm like, divorced. I'm that? divorced, right? And if my ex husband gets married to someone, guess what? That's their income. Okay. Now their household income is X. I could just take him to court for child support, and yes, the girl that marries him will have to pay. That's you when you marry. That's a contract. You guys are one. It's but it's over now. That's my point. It's Doesn't over. Doesn't work like the that. Divorce is once the kids, it ends. So who takes the care of the kids then? Who takes care of the kids? This is fine. Yes, as long as they are together, that's fine. But they are getting a divorce. He's not going to be eligible to get money from her forever and ever in yeah. alimony yes, just he would. because. Yes, he would. Yes, he would. No. Unless he gets married. That's the... Have you been married before? That's how it goes. Mm. Uh, Donald I Trump hope that is still... Donald Trump is still taking care of his first wife. That's how that goes. I hope that prenup 
It's not going to set up. Come on, jump in. What you got, bro? What you got? Because we've been talking about this perfumery. Come on. Let's go. Well, while we're on the topic of divorces in Hollywood right now, Hollywood's longest divorce between Khloe Kardashian and Lamar Odom is officially over. And all they have to do is let the lawyer sign off on the paper. So what do you guys think about this? I heard he got kicked out the um the court because he said that Khloe Kardashian's smelt some like oh, like what? the back yeah the back of e- earring backs or something. We, Google we, it. I was I was looking so it up. Bizarre. He's cr- they kicked him out because he was just acting crazy. <laughs> Maybe he's still on some stuff. He was acting crazy in the court. I don't know. Poor he Lamar. Might be on some stuff. Poor Lamar. Doesn't Mm-mm. surprise me if he's still on some stuff. Mm-mm. Yeah, exactly. So I don't. I mean, this doesn't surprise me. It's it's over. Finally over. Mm-hmm. But. Hey, Speaking of sad black stuff. men, Kanye West <laughs> says, that, <laughs> says that if Frank Ocean doesn't get a Grammy nomination this year, that he's boy, boycotting the Grammys. But that makes no sense because um, Frank Ocean didn't put in his filings in time, so he's not eligible. That was on him. Kanye will take anything so that he can have some more light. Like, he just... <laughs> he just like, <laughs> Like he he's mad at Jay Z, right? Yeah, yeah, he is. Some yeah. What's up? What's up with that talk? What, why are they beefing? I don't know, but you know, apparently their daughters have never had a play date before. I mean, I get it. Beyonce, Beyonce is from down south, honey. Let me oh tell you God. something about Beyonce and that Tina knows. She probably said, "Come on, come on, blow. This is bullshit." What is what is Northwest, Daddy? Oh my God! A direction. It's, it's a direction. <laughs> it's a direction. Eat your food. You saw know what I mean? Isn't that I hilarious. Kanye, Kanye needs to have a seat. I don't really know why he's yeah like. It has nothing to but do with don't care. really. I'm and if sad. you if you boycott, you boycott. Like nobody's gonna stop the Grammys because Kanye's not there. True, true, true. Sorry, Kanye. <laughs> Vente mi gente, es tiempo de escoger un presidente. Voten mi gente, voten mi gente. Alce la mano y diga presente. Vente mi gente, vente mi gente. No deje que este país no nos cuente. Voten mi gente, voten mi gente. El 8 de noviembre pa'l frente. And our motivational quote of the week comes from Denise Hurley. And Denise says, people with good intentions make promises. People with good character keep them. Put your motivational quote on our What's the 411 TV Facebook page, and it just might get selected to be aired on TV. The average text takes your eyes off the road for nearly five seconds. At highway speeds, that's enough time to travel the length of a football field. Stop the texts. Stop the wrecks. Welcome back to What's the 411. Now we are bringing you the 411 social. Jasmine, yes, tell us what's going good. on. And so, <laughs> we have some events in the social media world lately. Kim Kardashian just celebrated her birthday, and Kanye West Ooh. uploaded this super sentimental video on Twitter. It was so cute. Really? Aww. What did he say? It was like five minutes long, and it was okay. a montage of Kim growing up from when she was a little kid. Oh, really? That's really so sweet. Cute. Oh, Aww. look at him being all romantic and stuff. He loved that little girl. Good for him. Good for so him. So sweet. And while we're on the topic of birthdays, mm. speaking about that, Kanye West's ex-girlfriend Amber Rose actually shares the same birthday as Kim Kardashian. That's why Team Libra. Hashtag Team Libra. I get it. She just turned 33. (laughs) We also want to give a huge congratulations and shout out to Ciara. She just became Revlon's new global ambassador. Oh, nice. So she can't sue Future anymore about because, <laughs> because remember she said that she was going to sue Future because he was uh, costing her money because yeah. nobody was booking her. So now she go yeah. ahead, go ahead, Sierra, do your thing. Yeah, and there's also been rumors going on that Sierra might be pregnant with husband yeah. Russell Wilson. Yeah, mm-hmm. we were talking about mm-hmm. that. So mm-hmm. let's see. Hmm. Mm-hmm. So she better get going with those photo shoots. But we also <laughs> want to get. <laughs> I think that's Shay, girl. Uh. But we also want to give a shout out to single mom Gogo for commenting on Ciara's birthday post on our Instagram. Yes. Nice. Thank you. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. also, congratulations to Teacher Bay. Remember when we spoke about her a few weeks ago? Yeah, uh-huh. yes, yeah. We hated her. Extensively <laughs> talked about her, yes. And we were talking about whether or not it was appropriate, whether she should have worn what she wore to work. Mm-hmm. Well, Teacher Bay has a new job, and it's club hosting. She even posted a flyer on her Instagram. No, oh. Teacher Bay! No, Teacher, no, That's teacher what I'm Bay! No. I feel like. But you were teaching though, like. 
I feel like no. <laughs> I'm proud that she's using her popularity to make that money though. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. That's money. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm like, no, I liked her being teacher bay. Teacher bay. Like now you just in the club. Like that's not I feel like that's a step down. Nothing wrong with the club hosting people, but well, she's a teacher. I bet you she makes more money hosting clubs. Yeah, she probably does. <laughs> she probably does. Yeah. Get your coins, girl. Get your coins. I know, I know. I think she, she does deserve to get her money. What are we gonna call an auto? She, she can, can't be teacher bay anymore. She club host teacher bay. Club she host teacher bay. <laughs> because she can teach because school get out at three o'clock. First of all, <laughs> that is not And they offer the summer. And that we, is, you frequent clubs in the happen. summertime, right? True, true. Girl, get your coins up. Yeah, mm. We all <laughs> We wanted to give a shout out to Quan underscore Henry for commenting on the teacher bait post. So yeah, you guys know, you. keep those comments coming at what's the 411 TV on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and maybe you might get shouted out on our show. Traditional light bulbs actually generate nine times more heat than light. Switch to energy saving bulbs. Saving energy saves you money. Welcome back to What's the 4 and one I know you guys are fans of the show, so you are very familiar with our beauty correspondent, Courtney Rashawn, yes. who's been giving us lots of advice yes. this past few months. Mm -hmm. Yes, now she has a new book, Given Face. Face. She's going to be telling us mm -hmm. all about it. Yay, Courtney. Given Face. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. So I know this is like no ordinary book. Like, what is this book going to give people that you can't get anywhere else? Well, basically, my book is a, an etiquette, a beauty etiquette manual, and it teaches you all about instruction, application, and techniques, how to apply your makeup for the best possible occasion like in your life. So every occasion that you could think of, it'll be something in there to tell you this is how your makeup should look. Like right? wedding makeup? Wedding makeup. Um, a job interview. Job interview. Really? Meeting a guy's parents. Ooh. Even when it's time to get busy. <laughs> really? How you should look. Yeah, yeah. The virgin oh. or the vixen. And that's in the chapter that's called important. Seduce Him. Um, the Clock Strikes oh. 12 is all about um, transitioning your makeup from day to evening and different makeup looks. So there's a little bit of everything in there for yes. everyone. So how, how was the process of you writing this book? Was it laborious? Like, how? what, was, what, did, what did you... I know you like <laughs> blood, sweat, and tears, but <laughs> no, aside from that, <laughs> and, and hosting the show, we're writing a book. Okay. Well, basically, um, I just thought about all the things that we women want to know and what we experience. You know, when you're going to a job interview, you know, how your makeup should look. When you're going out on a first date, should it be too heavy? Should it be, you know, less? Should it be, you know, when you're meeting a guy's parents or, you know, your partner's parents or whomever, you know, how your makeup should look. Should it be overdone? Should it not be overdone? You know, even mm -hmm. going to a wedding, even with brides, you know. So, like I said, there's, you know, um, makeup applications and makeup looks for every occasion that you can imagine in your life. Yeah. So, you know. No, so, and even with the wake up makeup. So, wake up makeup is wake actually, up makeup. Yeah, wake up makeup. <laughs> wake up makeup. Well, wake up makeup yeah. is my signature, my signature uh, makeup application and technique that I do, and basically it gives you like a flushed faced. I just woke up. And a rosy kind of look. Do you put it on like right before he wakes up? You can. He <laughs> <laughs> would never know. He 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 would never But I do get a lot of compliments um, when I have makeup on because people always say, oh, your skin looks so flawless and you don't look like you're wearing anything. And that's all about the wake up makeup te te excuse me, technique. It's just a glowing, dewy, natural. Um, you know, just got off the beach, but not really like I just woke up, fresh face look, right. which is really cool. Nice. And you can okay. wear that during the day, even if you're running to the store, or like you said, you know, you want to slide out the sheets and slide back in, and you know, you want to look like you just woke <laughs> up like you did the night before. <laughs> oh my gosh. So you what know. about like taking care of your skin and stuff too? Because I think a lot of people like neglect yeah. that. Yeah. 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 yeah, there's also in there, there's also a chapter in there um, about skin care. Mm -hmm. and how to care for your skin, um, important things like not sleeping in your makeup and, you know, not, um, you know, leaving lashes on for too long and things mm -hmm. of that nature. So, you know, you have to be careful with makeup because, you know, our brushes and makeup harvest bacteria and it can right. clog your skin. And even with the brushes, you know, they tend to collect bacteria and they can also, you know, uh, cause breakouts and things right. like Do that. Do you talk so. about switching out the brushes and how long you should keep them? Because I know people, you say, throw that mascara away. Yeah. And I'm like, and absolutely, absolutely not because like a year later. Seven dollars for it. <laughs> Well, with any makeup, you should, you know, between uh, six to eight months, mm -hmm. well, say, I would say six to 12 months, 
um, you should discard it if you haven't used it. Uh, mascara, you know, I would definitely change my mascara every three months. Really? Because only because the wands all harbor <laughs> all harbor bacteria, and that's okay. You know, if you if you wash your brushes regularly and let them mascara air dry. Mascara brush. Well, with your mascara brush, you should wipe it off to get rid of the excess. But mascara, it'll start to get clumpy and it'll start to smell, and it's really good to discard it. You know, right. after after three to three to five months, wow. I would say. You I know. smell mine. And you I'm can like, smell it, right? Yeah, you I'm can like, smell yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. It's like, a, like it has an expiration date on it. When it starts to smell, it's time to go. Even with the brushes, you know, brushes tend to get, you know, ratty and, you know, raggedy and they tend to get coarse and, you know, they lose their, you know, texture and they don't, you know, they won't, um, the makeup won't be applied properly if your brushes aren't, you know, up to par. So right. you have to get rid of those too. But even with the sable hair brushes, you can wash some of those mm -hmm. and, you know, so those have a little bit more longevity as opposed to the synthetic brushes. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, right. so what do you have in your book for men? Well, I have a title called Him and it's all about men's grooming, which is interesting. Um, it's something in there for the, for the ladies also and for the men as well. Um, him is just basically about, um, Men and how they should care for themselves. Men's grooming, meaning how about those beards, meaning like beards, beards, exactly. Beards, you mean manscape, manscaping, <laughs> yes, beard care. <laughs> um, you know, um, getting the wax out of your ears, and you know, not having a unibrow <laughs> unless that's your signature look. Um, you know, plucking the nose hairs, things like that. And it's also um, wow. some things in there um, that men love about women. You know, things that they find attractive and things that we find attractive, things that we like to see a man, you know, in or, give you know, us we like one. To, give us one. I'll give you a few. Uh, we, I think all women universally, universally love a man who has a manicure. He has to have a manicure because his hands are on you. Even if you're holding your hand, you know, the hands are rough. You can come with your nails the dirty. You know what I like? Pedicure, though. And a manicure, exactly. Feet scratching exactly. you in the bed. Exactly. Like, no. In the bed, your mama is watching. <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh, okay. It's well, it's the truth. It's, it's the truth. truth. <laughs> it's, it's the truth. You know, no one wants, you know, to be mama. with someone at night and they're, you know, rough, you know, calluses. Right, right, right. It is okay. You got a job. Okay. Monique doesn't care. Right, right. You got a job. Right, right. Do you have a job? Tax bracket. We just had this discussion. <laughs> okay, I'm just saying. And there's also, um, you guys are funny. There's also things in the book um, that I that my own personal opinion for recommendation or recommend you know products that I recommend oh, nice. and also um, things that are tacky mm. so I do Ooh, have don't. Some, not yeah, in every chapter but in some chapters um, <laughs> at the end of each chapter I do have some things that are that would be considered tacky so and what's tacky? Yeah. Give, us a tacky. Yes. give us a tacky makeup. give us one tacky makeup. one tacky thing that you okay. see all the time <laughs> one tacky thing that I see mm. all the time well eyelashes eyelashes that, oh, that no, have no been girl. worn way too long and it's time for them to go and they start clumping up on your eyes and, and you can like, still see the glue separates uh, from uh, from your lid oh, yeah it's just a mess so that's definitely something that's tacky another thing that would be tacky um, would be if you are with your partner and you know unless you're married and it's cool like that but when you're when you're um, you know going out with someone or you know couple dates or whatever and you have a sleepover you know, to take off your add-on or your ponytail or your wig and throw it by the bedside <laughs> or throw it on the floor. You're supposed to sleep in it? <laughs> no, no, take it off. No, no, take it off. But, and you know, but it. don't put it somewhere. Put it in your bathroom or store. Just don't leave it by the bedside. Don't leave it by the bedside. Don't don't take your wig off. Who does leave that? It. And leave it now. You're going to take what? your wig off and leave it next to your car. Which girls are you dating? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Don't what, girl. what girls are you dating? Well, it's is? true. I, I have, you know, I have brothers and I talk to a lot of guys. I have a lot of male friends. <laughs> and these are some of the pet peeves that they have. They don't care, you know, as long as it looks good, fine. But they just don't want to see it. Wake up and they don't like wake right up here, face to face like, with you the know, and see, you know, your ponytail on the floor. I mean, I've been guilty of it, so you know. <laughs> you know, pass me that here, please. Thanks. In the heat I'm of the just moment. kidding. I'm just kidding. But no, seriously, um, you know, just certain things, you know, tampons, you know, things of that nature. You know, tuck it away. Leave, you know, your personal women hygiene thing. Oh, I thought that would be fresh. I think my mother told you. Let me tell you something. Oh, my but, but some people, <laughs> right, right. I have, I've had guys complain about these issues with women. And there are things that we don't like that that I think, you know, that I feel that are tacky, you know, so that men do. So certain things that we don't want to see. So like, give us a man. Like dirty, sweaty socks and they smell. Or, yeah, you know, or tidy whities that aren't so white. Oh! <laughs> but I don't like tidy whities. <laughs> but Ray Ray can wear them. He can't. He's too big for that. 
<laughs> with dots on them. You know, they have the lip gloss. You're too big for that. Remember, can't fit so. in the tiny whiteies. <laughs> They'll be all hanging down in the front. It's not cute. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so I see Sorry, that Pastor. we 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 just went to. The I left. know they did. They went to the left. But, but get this joy. It's, it's, yes. it's a lot of fun. It's humorous. It's funny. Um, and I'm, it's for everybody. It's for everyone. It's for men. For women. And it's definitely for makeup artists. And it's also you know uh, I had a lot of fun writing it. And you know it, you'll find it humorous. Look at you that. Know? So it's like I'm talking to, it's, it's as if I'm having a conversation with my girlfriends or my guy friends. So that's how I actually um, talk to you in the book. Nice. nice. So giving face. Yeah. All right, so Looking Flaws for Every Occasion is available on Amazon.com. So get your copy today. <laughs> my new dad teaches me all kinds of stuff. I wouldn't use this one. He helps me with my decision making. Ever. And he's even teaching me how to drive. And that's why cars have bumpers. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of kids in foster care will take you just as you are. Welcome back to What's the 4 and one Now we're bringing you events that are in the pipeline. Jasmine? <laughs> so Solange has officially reached pop star status. Ooh. The singer tweeted that she's going to be performing two songs from her album, A Seat at the Table, on Saturday Night Live, November 5th. Nice. Oh, Go is. ahead, Solange. Uh -huh. Okay, and seven months after Prince's untimely death, fans will be treated with two retrospective albums featuring classic material from the late Purple One. According to OK Player, a greatest hit collection titled Prince Forever will be released on November 22nd via Warner Brothers and NPG Records. The LP will contain 40 songs, 40, man, that's a lot of Goodness, songs. Goodness, that's a lot. From Prince's expansive discography between 1977 and 1996. The collection also includes a 12-page booklet containing unreleased photographs. I didn't know he had those. Mm. By photographer Herb Ritz. So it's really good. Mm. So Usher, Common, The Roots, Jill Scott, Belle Bev DeVoe, Buster Rhymes, oh. Janelle Monet, Kiki Sheard, and uh, De La Soul, Yolanda Adams, and Michelle Williams what? will all gather together at the White House for the BET what? Concert what? Special airing November, in November, right? Additionally, Samuel L. Jackson, Jesse Williams, Angela Bassett will oh. all be special get, make special guest appearances during that event, which will be hosted by Regina Hall. Like, wow. So I know that they had okay. like a real big party at yeah. the White House last week. Yeah. Right? So, like, so the, all my random friends, I was like, <laughs> what? They were there. It was a turn up. And wow. So I guess it's going to be another turn up at the White House. I guess the Obamas are like. Yeah, they didn't dance with Janelle Monet. It was like, <laughs> yeah, they didn't dance with Janelle Monet. was cutting off yes, the hotline blade so, off. Mm, Listen, mm, mm, mm. I'm going to miss I'm going to miss President Obama. We all I'm yeah. going to miss him so much. And you know what else I'm going to miss? Show. Because that will do it for this week's episode of What's the 411, your smart source for urban lifestyle and entertainment news. Until next week, don't miss us too much because we will be back <laughs> next week. Check out our west website, www.whatsthe411.com. Remember to hit us up on Facebook, Instagram, Blab, Periscope, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, What's the 411 TV. Please check us out and we just might mention you on the show. I'm Kizzy Cox, and on behalf of Monika McLean and Jasmine Blake, thank you for watching What's the 4 and one We will see you next week for our 100th show. Woo! Be back, be back.